far as Wally the Walleye, and as the story goes, but people, um, you know, got to realize fishing stories are fishing stories, and they always seem to get bigger and, and larger as, uh, as years pass by. But I left Fifth Third Field one day to go down to the new arena just to see how the progress was going. And uh, afterwards, I, I thought I'd head over the Maumee River, as I often do, and, uh, and once you know it, Wally the Walleye jumps right out of the water and literally landed on my lap and ended up on the ground. And being a fisherman that I, that I am, I, I'm instantly thinking dinner. I had my fillet knife all ready to go and, you know, thinking, all right, I got dinner tonight. This is great. And um, so as I leaned over to pick him up, I couldn't get a hold of him. He was, he was tough. He was strong. He was gritty. He was in a small area and, and wiggled his way out of it. And I thought, this is all the characteristics that I'm looking for in a hockey player. And I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do with him now? I can't keep him in, the, in my bathtub for a year. I've got to do something with him. It just hit me. Boom, the Toledo Zoo. What a great place to put him. And as you can say, the rest is history.